Who goes after? Bob will tell you. <laughs> Good morning, BPPA. I'm Bob Harper. I'm this year's president of our organization. Uh, some of you I've called on the telephone along with the other board members over the last few days, but I've been a member of the of BPPA for over 10 years and have, have really enjoyed my time being associated with you and the other members, the board members of BPPA. We're all in this unique situation right now with COVID-19 and, and its impact on our businesses. But it's not all bad news, I don't think. It gives us a chance, probably a, the, one of the few chances we've had recently to work on our businesses, on our business and not in our business. So what I've been doing is preparing for the future when this restriction is lifted, and it's gonna be sooner rather than later, I believe. So I'm trying to do all that I can to fill my calendar for the end of June and beyond talking to my uh, clients, talking to my potential clients, and doing all things that I possibly can to be ready for the onslaught of people who now really are gonna be paying attention to the things that, that matter most in their lives, and that's their families. That's my business model, is photographing families, creating family portraits. And so this COVID virus situation has certainly emphasized the importance of that to, to all of our people in, in Virginia and around the world for that matter. So that's what I've been doing with my time. And I've also been exercising where I can when possible and communicating as much as I can with others through my church community, my friends around the, the area here, and of course, BPPA. So BPA as an organization is here for you. We wanna know if you any of our members have any issues at all, but uh, we'll be back 100% very soon. It looks like um, we will probably be able to get the summer seminar carried out. So uh, we'll see, hope to see everyone in Fredericksburg in the first part of August. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to Jeannie Hobbs. Hi, I'm Jeannie Hobbs. I'm the recording secretary for VPPA and um, I've been a member for over 25 years and this community means everything to me. And we want you to know that you mean everything to us. So I want you to take care of yourself, um, shower because it helps and it makes a difference <laughs> and um, call a friend because that makes a world of difference just in our, uh, our everyday morale and know that there are brighter days ahead. And so just think if you are a baby photographer, you are going to be swamped in January. So <laughs> like those are good, those are good things to have, but just you know, photographers tell stories and we, and we capture love and we capture life and history. And we've been here for well over 125 years and this will not put us under. So there are, there are brighter days ahead. And we want you to be with us when they're there. So like, just, just show, show what you're made of and show your character and be creative. Go Debbie. <laughs> oh, Bob. Okay. Okay. I'm Debbie Fisk and um, guys, I just wanted to drop in this morning and let you know that you probably like me, you've sort of gotten used to this stay at home order. Um, I, I never thought I'd see the day, but you know, we never know what tomorrow's going to bring, but I want to let you know that your board is starting to look at what is it going to look like when we get out, when we come out, when we come through this, there's light at the end of the tunnel and you know, what are our energy levels going to be? What are our finances going to be? What's our clients going to look like? Uh, what, what's our pr uh, products? So we're starting to look at those kinds of things because that's what's going to make us successful when, when, when this is all over and we start on another journey. It will. It's another chapter. It'll be another journey. But I want to let you know that artists inspire me. And I'm not an artist. I come from a different skill set, but I want to be an artist. I do take pictures, but I don't consider myself an artist. But I've learned from the best, uh, Jamie and Mary, have been really good in guiding me along. And I'm very proud of, of, of some of the things that I'm doing now. I entered 
image comp this year for the first time. Who knew? Because I used to just shuffle the files and code all the film, the, the film that was in the refrigerator at Jamie. So th th this is where I want to be. And so artists do inspire me. And I saw something the other day and it said, there is nothing that drives the, our economy like creativity. And there is nothing that drives creativity like the arts. So remember, at the end of the day, you are an artist. What you do is important. What you do creates memories and it'll be there forever. I look on my walls and I see, when I walk in the door, I begin to smile. No matter what my day's been, I smile. I see my three-year-old babies on one side. I see my seniors on the other. Every room, including bathrooms and this closet I'm in, as well as um, my laundry room has art and it's art that we've produced. And um, so that's what, that's who we are. That's what we are. And we're the ones that are going to make the difference at the end of the day. If you have any struggles, if you have any successes, reach out and share because we're going to come through this, but we were going to come through it together. All right, so let's go next to Erin Clark. Hey, VPBA, Erin Clark, chairman of uh, VPBA. Um, I wanted to share a quote that I was struck by uh, dur uh, that was, uh, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Opportunities for learning and rebranding, marketing, family time, and support. VPBA is here to lend that support. And if you need anything, just reach out to any of the board of directors. Uh, we will do what we can to help you out. Okay, thanks. Aaron's our chairman and uh, for this year, our chairperson for this year. Next up is John Waters. Hello, VPPA. I'm John Waters. I'm the executive treasurer. I've been a member for um, a really, really long time. <laughs> um, and I just want to be very brief and say my recommendation would be to, uh, to be outside. Fresh air and sunshine are all good for both your body and your mind. So that's what I've been doing. I've been outside as many days as I possibly can, and it just feels great. So if, if there's anything that we as a board can do for you, please don't hesitate to call, and God bless everyone. Very good, John. Let's go next to Andy Moore, who's a, who is a governor of the Capital District. Hey guys, how are you? It is so awesome to see everybody. I told y'all y'all are gonna love it when I unveiled, right? So um, Jamie, I'm really sad that you didn't bring any props because you know us, Image Competition, um, co-director of Image Competition, Jamie Hayes. He'll be back in a minute. Um, I hope you're all staying healthy, um, but most of all, I hope you're staying creative. So there's all kinds of ways that you can stay creative um, in your home, outside your home, just like John said, you know what? Um, I'm sure you've got a blade of grass in your yard or something you can photograph. I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of that at image competition this year. <laughs> but for real, um, we're all, you know, we all have seen it on Facebook. There you go, Jamie. Um, so, uh, you know, um, just hang in there and don't be afraid to reach out, um, whether it's a board member or a friend, whether it is part of your Virginia photographer network or your kids school another parent or something like that but um it, it's okay it's okay to be sad some days and it's but have more happy days than sad days so um find your sunshine um i'm really glad that here in richmond it is shining um because we've had a lot of rainy days so i'm looking forward to more i'm looking forward to <sighs> summer image critique um sail away with vppa i'm hoping we had that cool title governors and uh <laughs> hope we get to use it so um I'm gonna just stay healthy guys, stay creative. And it's okay if you cry, but pick yourself up and keep rolling. Very good. Let's go to Fred Morton. Uh, good morning, VPPA, Fred Morton. I'm your second vice president this year and still excited about convention in February. Have not stopped thinking about it, but we'll get to summer seminar. Uh, I want to thank you all uh, as we've worked as a board to support you and been making phone calls. I've got to say the folks that I talk to, I think you all helped me 
uh, more than I was helping you. It's a reaffirmation for me, uh, the power of people, the power of the fact that each of you is at the heart of this organization and that we can indeed get through this together. Um, I, I'm going through stir craziness so much so that Stephen Colbert last night parted his head on the wrong side. So that's what I did this morning. <laughs> Nobody recognized that. Just had a beard. I've got my uh, virus beard going. I am I'm ready to be out and about as I know you all are. Uh, I think you may feel the way I do. It, it, there is a wealth of opportunity for us to grow during this struggle with what PPA has done and all the different organizations, Texas School right now, uh, I'm finding my challenge is to try and focus and pick one thing each day rather than try and do it all. Um, but behind all of that, I'm thinking about you all. I am so grateful for the people that are on this video. Uh, you make my life better and you've made my professional life better. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all at Summer Seminar as we come out of this thing. Love to all. Hey, thanks, Brad. Let's hear from uh, Kay Reed next. Microphone. Okay. Good. All Go right. Ahead. I got it now. <laughs> Good morning from the beautiful Blue Ridge city of Lynchburg. Uh, I just want to say hello to all and everyone in BPPA. We've been given a beautiful gift of time, time that we may never get back. And let's all try to be productive, stay safe, stay happy, do what you like, enjoy your families and friends, and just like we're doing right now, hook up on some type of video with those that you really can't reach out and touch right now. Um, I'll keep you all in my prayers, and just remember, if you need anything from VPPA, give one of us a call, um, shoot us a message, and, and just think before you do and do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you, Kay. Next, let's hear, let's hear from Jamie Hayes. Hey, everybody. I'm Jamie Hayes. I am your co-image salon chair with, along with Andy. And um, hope you guys are all doing great. You know, use this time productively. Just consider this as being the universe giving you a whole lot more time to get your images ready for competition. <laughs> class, uh, class, learn something new, maybe enter in a different category like artist and practice, take some online classes, go through your camera room, get everything organized, separate the stuff you use all the time from stuff that you don't use, sell it on eBay. Uh, because once the floodgates open up, you're going to be so busy, you're not going to have time to think about image competition. So start working now, do some online stuff, start pulling images together, and that'll give you a chance to work on them um, as time goes on. But get ready and prepare because the floodgates are about to open. And we're here for you if you need us. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Jamie. Let's hear next from Terry Wingfield, the, the governor of the Northern District. Hi, good morning, everyone out there. And I uh, just want to say I miss everyone. Uh, been great to get together on Zoom. There's been so many opportunities to hear from all the creatives out there and to see what, you know, ideas that we can take in to incorporate in our business. And like, uh, it, you know, it, the, the difficult thing is to pick one and not to overwhelm yourself at this time and to take really good care of your health and to spend time out in nature, as uh, you see my beautiful garden virtually in the background. <laughs> I'm really enjoying my garden and taking, um, you know, some iPhone photos in mind for just for fun um, competition uh, type style iPhone photography. I will not enter these, but uh, some ideas to really expand your mind using tools that you normally don't use. And I think that really helps a creative process. And one thing I've been doing every morning as much as I can, some mornings I don't, is to do a morning pages, writing down just thoughts. Um, sometimes it's just grocery lists, but anyway, just <laughs> dumping your thoughts on paper. But I'm really looking forward to getting everybody together again, to see everybody when everything is back, uh, you know, when we can. And um, thanks for everyone. 
um, out there to keep being creative. We look forward to seeing everyone. Thanks, Terry. Next, we're going to hear from Mary Fish Taylor. Among other things, she's about to be president of the Professional Photographers of America. So I want, we want to hear from her. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hi, guys. I'm Mary Fist Taylor. Um, currently, I am on the VPPA board as your education and event coordinator, um, which, as Fred mentioned, um, this board, you know, we all bring together things like our amazing convention. I, you know, as I sit at home with my kids and we're all healthy and all these dogs, because when kids come home, surprisingly now, all these dogs came home. So it's been, it's been interesting around here, um, but not working. And, uh, you know, really spending time, like Bob said, you know, working on our business, not in our business. Um, learning a lot and trying to share a lot, which has been awesome. I can tell you that PPA, Professional Photographers of America, is doing everything they can for professional photographers. Right now, our goal is for this industry to come back stronger than ever. And it's not even about whether you're a member or not right now. It's just what can we do for small business creatives like we've always done. You know, as you guys may know, we lobby a lot on Capitol Hill, but that presence has paid off more than ever. Um, you know, I can tell you PPA has had a big voice in uh, the second round of um, PPP money coming, um, professional photographers was actually mentioned several times on the Hill. So this is really exciting to be where we are today. Um, you know, I am, I have my days. It is not always fun around here. Thank goodness we have a decent enough size house that we can all have our own corners and quarantine. I have kids taking exams. My daughter just graduated from grad school virtually here at home. Um, and my son will do the same thing at the end of this week. We will not have any of those celebrations in person, but that's not what matters right now. I'll end with a quote. I've been doing a lot of online studying and one of my mentors and one of the people I adore is a lady named Brene Brown. And she has some amazing books. She has a great podcast and she brings me a lot of peace and joy. And um, right now I'll share this. I'm afraid my dogs are going to bark because my husband's about to walk in. Yep. But um, this thing says, she said, we'll not go back to normal. Normal never was. Our pre-corona existence was not normal, other than we normalized greed, inequity, exhaustion, depletion, extraction, disconnection, confusion, rage, hoarding, hate, and lack. We should not long to return, my friends. We are being given the opportunity to stitch a new garment, one that fits all humanity and nature. So I will close with her amazing words because no one can say it better than her right now. And I hope that that rings uh, true with all of you guys. So hang in there. Wow. We're in this together. Thanks, Mary. Uh, Steve Ratcliffe, the, the governor of the Tower District, asked me to extend his best wishes to everyone. He could not be with us today. To all the people on this Zoom, are there any other comments you'd like to make? Group hug. Group hug. Everybody do a group hug. Come on, group hug. Come on, Bob. You can do it. Group hug. Well, we're very thankful for, for all of you, and we're glad to be working with you for the betterment of our profession and the betterment of our organization. I'm going to turn this back over to Debbie to close us out. Well, I thank you very much, Bob. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I hope that you found a little inspiration in what one of us or maybe a few of us have said. All I can say is please reach out. Don't, don't stay cloistered. Reach out because it, it, better days are coming and we'll be more creative. Have a great day, guys.